Hello, welcome to PlayStation Access. This is Access Granted with me, Nate, and also Dave. Hello. Who drops in occasionally. Dave, you've been on holiday. I have, yeah. No one else knows about it because nothing was different on the channel. They know, Nate. They, they know. They can know tell by this amazing tan. Right, you're getting the guns I out wore, as well. I wore white especially to yeah. draw attention to the fact. You've turned up the... I look so healthy. You've done the... the I've colours. tinted the... I've saturated just Are me. Are we both a bit brown? Um, anyway, anyway, this week, we've got all the regular stuff this week. It's a full show, it's a full lineup. Excellent. So we're, we're going to have a game of one on one Z, that'll probably get messy. Uh, we've got your comments of the week, we've got 301 Club, and first of all... The time for truth is nearly here. Bringing tales of lies and fear. To stand a chance at gaming heaven. Reveal to us your game confession. Gaming Confessions this week, Dave. Yeah. After our, so we pleaded last week because the Gaming Confessions has slowed down a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Got quite a lot. Quite a lot of them are, I would say at this point, if your confession is, I played with someone who was, you know, insensible for some reason because they were very young or very old and you just unplugged their controller, <laughs> at this point, stop telling us because it's making me feel really bad for all the people who were there going, ah, and, and had, had no idea they weren't playing. Uh, Gavin Turnbull though says, Gaming confession, my daughter, 8, has 134 Skylanders. Or should I say, I have 134 Skylanders, as she is not allowed to play with them or even touch them, if I'm not there, if I'm honest. <laughs> I, I also do all the levels for her. I do tell people they're for her when I buy them though. I also do all the levels for her. I'm 55. <laughs> That's amazing. Let me just do that level for you. Yeah, do that. all the levels. The game. Let me play the game. Oh, you can Gavin. sit next to me. Seems like you're having a very nice time anyway, Gavin. Max Williams says, Gaming confession. Oh, I just felt a bit bad for Max here. Uh, my GCSE biology exam was today, Tuesday, and I told myself to go to bed early and get a good night's sleep, but I ended up remote playing the Phantom Pain until 2.30. Oh, man. Needless to say, I was extremely tired. I got stuck on the part where your helicopter crashes. I don't think that's in your biology exam. <laughs> <laughs> Rob might know the pain I went through with that mission and I fell asleep. And I've got to say, currently, you know, my, my son is currently doing exams, not, not his GCSEs, uh, and he's actually, he's been pretty good about his PlayStation. He's back on it now with a vengeance, now they're over. But I just, so I feel particularly bad for if Max or if anyone else is doing your exams, just have a break from the PlayStation for a little bit. It'll be there, it'll still be there in that long old post-exam summer. It really makes a big difference. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just be, just go easy. That's or all. just remote no. play it. <laughs> no, just remote yeah, play it. No. The parents never know. They Amazing. Know. Stephen Rodriguez, Game Confession. When I was in middle school, I was having trouble with my grades, so my mum would unplug my internet wire from my modem so I could not play Call of Duty online. So one day, I opened up the modem and cut out the internet connection light so she would <laughs> not know I had internet. Nearly six years later and she still uses the same modem and recently discovered the missing light. I still can't tell her to this day. That's fantastic. That was so ingenious. That's that's the that's the amazing thing. Like it in a way she brought out the, the genius in her son there. I know. Although like, you know you imagine that. if you'd applied that to your grades. Yeah. And also how did the grades go, man? This yeah. was a few, <laughs> if this was a few years ago. Don't tell me how many times you prestiged. Tell me how your grades were. It's probably an excellent telecommunications engineer now. Maybe, yeah, or a thief. Yeah. Oh, the light's gone. Like. No, the internet's working. Yeah, the light's saying. gone on that. That's going to cost you. <laughs> uh, Shao McCarner says, Gaming Confession. Me and my brother play... Now, sometimes in Gaming Confessions... Sorry. Yeah. What? Sometimes. Sometimes we're laughing with the person. Right. Sometimes we're laughing at the person. Okay. okay? Shao McCarner, Gaming Confession. Me and my brother played Pez and he always used to win. One day, I smothered my DualShock in lubricant so that I would have the edge. But it actually made the controller really mushy. I mean, I could have given you a heads up about no that. Way. And what lubricant were you using? Yeah. I was ready to lose, but I switched the controllers and he didn't notice because he is eight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 15, by the way. So yeah. just like, I mean, there's so much to unpack here, man. There is a lot. I mean, that as, as a way of winning, this is just lubricant. Confusing. You'd think like that would help you to win somehow. Yeah. That is, I mean, I so I mean, I don't know. I've got my doubts about the veracity of this story in some Absolutely. ways. Absolutely. But then, who would admit that they regularly lose to their eight-year-old brother at PES? Yeah. I mean, that's bad, man. Didn't he still lose as well with the even with the swapping of no, controllers? No, he, he won. Oh, okay. He won after hit. But wow. That's good. Wow. <laughs> 
Uh, I like this one a lot. Girls with guitars. Gaming confession, I bought a Hannah Montana PSP because it was cheaper. I had to get a hard case for it so I could hide the purple sparkles. <laughs> 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 I imagine That's just good. being in the shop screen, it is 20 bucks cheaper. Yeah. So. Oh. I could spend that three bucks on the hard <laughs> on the case, case to yeah, hide, exactly. hide the fact. So in a way you got a free case. That's, yeah. the, that's the way to think about it. Um, Zaya Amanol says, Game of Confessions, it was Assassin's Creed Black Flag towards the end of the game when you have to fight the two Man of War ships. I had foolishly spent nearly zero time in it upgrading my ship and was prepared to face my doom until I decided to get out of my ship and swim past them for 45 minutes <laughs> to get to the final island. No regrets. <laughs> that's brilliant. It's that's like, great. at that point, you can go back and upgrade your ship. You know, that's yeah. going to take you more than 45 minutes. I love that cool. kind of, uh, it's not determination, it's stubborn. It's yeah, it's it's pure stubbornness. I'm just, no, I'm not, I'm not doing I'm it. I'm not going to do before. what the game wants. Yeah, exactly. I'm just going to swim gonna past them. Way. I love that. <laughs> then just... Like, Nothing here. Just, no bad. Just there's no bad guys here. Mostly underwater. Right. Chrome PU PXD. Gaming confession. When I was younger, I wasn't allowed a 16 plus age rated game, siphon filter, so me and my dad printed out the case again but changed the 16 plus badge to a 12 so my <laughs> mum wouldn't know and I'd be allowed to play it. I like that again, like like with the modem, like that's just a level of ingenuity I would not have expected. I also like how what a beautiful little story that is because it's like first of all I wasn't allowed these you know these games, then it developed so you find <laughs> yeah. out his dad is on his side <laughs> like, like no your mum's gone guns, mad. Your mum's gone mad. Right, but but I don't want to tell her. Yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> we can't enrage her. Got yourself. a plan. <laughs> uh, next, Red Vision One 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 Gaming Confession. This is my disapproving face. Right. I joined raid groups at the checkpoint my group wants on Destiny and then die to save the checkpoint and leave. So basically, if his friends want to do it, get to a certain point in a raid, yeah. he will join a group who's already there, maybe was looking no. for a group, and then he will just quit out once he's got the checkpoint on his own account. That's naughty. I know it's horrible, but we ain't but ain't nobody got time for those ships. We're just <laughs> talking about the ships you have to jump over and, and throw his end. Uh, he, I is, he is probably Never right. Done that. If you've ever played that, there's a man called David Meekle who writes for OPM and if you've ever done that bit of the raid with Meeks and he's just he's just Scottish swearing from the distance. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> uh, Alex Watts, gaming confession, me and a friend were playing Tom Clancy's Vegas 2 all night and got freaked out because we heard what we thought was really loud footsteps for about five minutes. It wasn't really loud footsteps, it was his grandmother banging on the wall underneath us to try and get some help from us. Oh God! <laughs> that, that, was, that was what got me in that one. Ooh. Right, I wasn't going to include it and then right at the end I was like, dude, I'm not even sure you realised why your story is so good. <laughs> Oh, yeah. That is, yeah. Was she okay? <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? What did she want help with? Yeah. <laughs> that is, wow, five minutes as well. That's not Hello. like, you know, help me with Dude, the shopping or something. What's that spooky? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'm too freaked out to look. Uh, space Spooks. Gaming Confessions, and one that probably a lot of people can relate to. I requested March the 18th to the 21st of work oh, in, no. in anticipation for Uncharted 4, telling my boss that relatives were planning on visiting. <laughs> I'm surprised he didn't grow suspicious each time I told him that my relatives had to move the dates, <gasps> April the 26th to the 29th, May the 10th to the 13th. <laughs> but in the end, I was able to get the days off and finish the game. <laughs> and oh, he was done the way. That's, that's excellent. That was a good one, That's fantastic. So the, I, I think it's legitimate taking time off work to play a game, although I guess you're probably more likely to get it if you say that your relatives are coming in. Especially when it's so amazing and you've been looking forward to it for ages and also <laughs> there's like this story it could be spoiled for you. I know, that is there, that adds an extra pressure. And you know, I think these days, there's probably, you know, 10 years ago, I'm not sure there were that many bosses who would have maybe been sympathetic, but these days, I think that people, people who grew up with games have reached positions of power yeah. and authority. <laughs> it's very dangerous. So, you know, in the future, this thing is going to be less of an issue. It is. It's time. It's time. It's time. It's time for comments, comments of, of the week. A lovely sting. Thank you very much. You're Steve. welcome. Anytime. Uh, Nerdy Weapon X. Whenever I watch Access, I always imagine Rob is behind the camera with a gun. <laughs> oh God. He's not. He's not. He's not. And again, halfway through that, I was thinking, oh, he's right. Um, no, he's yeah, not. amazing he's comment. Not. Why? He's... Why do you think that? Is it our demeanour? Yeah. 
I mean, I know why you might so, think Rob would have it. I was going to say, is it Rob's demeanor? That's more likely. Yeah. The Red Shredder. After completing Uncharted 4, I dropped my controller and walked outside. The sun and the trees and the grass all look so bland and boring. Thanks, Naughty Dog. Which yeah. is, I mean, that is a problem. I know, it, that game is absolutely stunning. Most people I know who finished it have just started playing it again. I started playing uh, the Uncharted, the uh, Nathan Drake collection. Yeah. And I'm on to Uncharted 3 now. Those games are really good as well. So I've played three Uncharted games in the last two weeks. What are you going to do when you finish three? No regrets. You're do four Probably again? do four again, yeah, I might do it. Rob's doing it on Crushing, and I think if I beat him to do it on Crushing, that might annoy him slightly. I, so. th I think you... I think there's a good chance go of that. Yeah, yeah, you've exactly. got to go for it. He's terrible at games. Uh, Scott Clark. The gun, Nate. The gun. <laughs> because me and my friends have no idea where we are all up to on Uncharted 4, our conversations are now all like, <laughs> have you met the guy? What guy? Yeah. If you haven't met the guy, I can't really tell you about the guy. <laughs> yeah. Because it was a spoiler. <laughs> we, we've had those in the office. So Rob, Rob played it slightly after me and Dave, and we had a lot of that. Are you at that? Um, have you? Yeah. How yeah. are you doing with it? Yeah, mm. it's like, and there's nothing like hey, Rob. Where are you, uh, Madagascar? And like, and then you can't. What whereabouts? Like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> like is it after the? Uh, like, uh, mm. No, I can't say. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Good. Enjoy Good it. Good luck. Enjoy yeah. it. Uh, Sacred sock. This isn't quite a gaming confession, so which is why it's not in the gaming confessions, but very similar. A while ago, when Uncharted 3 first launched, I got into what started as a discussion, but finished as an argument about the etiquette of spoilers. As I then hadn't played Uncharted 2 or 3, we agreed not to say anything about Uncharted 3, but my friend felt it was okay to spoil 2, even though he knew I hadn't played it. So I guess he'd skip 2, was going to play 3, and that meant that his friend thought Uncharted 2 was fair game. Oof. That started an argument which ended badly when he said, well at least I didn't say... Oh no. At which point he spoiled Uncharted 3 as well. End result being we got thrown out of the pub. I like that then, <laughs> I was thinking that they were like 12. <laughs> yeah. We got thrown out of the pub. <laughs> Uh, and it was nearly a year before we spoke again. But also what I like about the story is, were they thrown out of the pub because they were getting a bit heated, or was it because they were uncharted spoilers? spoilers yeah. Lads! Landlord was like, Lads, Lads, that's twice now, you're <laughs> yeah, out, get you're out. barred. Man, and it's funny isn't it, because there's a, spoilers, there's a pub at the beginning of Uncharted 3. Ooh, right, don't, just go careful. Sue Bwaka Bwaka Scott. Right, well done. At E3, show me the ceilings. Nobody ever shows the ceilings. <laughs> We did ask people what they wanted to see at E3, <laughs> and that's our answer I there. I sort of love that. It's a bit weird, isn't no it? No one ever shows the ceilings. No, what about no. the floor? Have you seen a lot of the floor of E3? We could do, we could blow your mind. Yeah. The walls. What, are you ex I, what do you expect the ceilings are like? Because I know. Yeah, I do What do you well. think? Let us know, everybody. Yeah, and we'll <laughs> wow you with the, a surprise. With some knowledge. There's probably yeah. a point where our camera fell over we could dig out from our old footage. <laughs> yeah. Random acts. These, these are some, some comments about last week's one on onesie. Right. Does anyone get as confused as me who's playing as which colour? Maybe that is something we could do better. I can't tell who's winning or losing, so I never know who to cheer for. Always me. What? Especially no. this season. I thought Dave was running the away from it. Uh, well, yeah, it is hard. I'd always try to say at the start which one I am, but it is yeah. hard. I mean, what, what was it we did last week? Stick Bold? Yeah, Stick Bold is so good. Man, we might play some more Stick Bold, because we, we had a couple of games with Rob, and with three players, it's so good. Yeah. And there's a few levels we hadn't played, so maybe watch out for that Rob this week. Rob was talk, uh, just talking about playing it on lunch next. Should we play on lunch? We should just Let's film just it and stick it up. Absolutely. Um, Mr. Linkolin, throughout the second half of the one-on-one -on -one challenge, all I could think of was Dave Froman. The Sausage King of Access. That is, do you know what that reference is to? It's a 1980s movies reference that Dave doesn't get. I think in the original it might be Charles Froman, The Sausage King of Chicago. I don't know what this is. It's from Ferris Bueller's Day Off. It's oh, the, it's the person that they Ferris pretend Bueller. to be. What? I know, I know, what? I know, I know. What did Rob say? Rob said it the other day he hadn't seen The Goonies. I know, well that's ridiculous. Yeah, but Ferris Bueller's yeah, Day oh, Off. I know, but I've got it saved on Netflix to watch. Oh, so man. So I will watch it. Well, you've spoiled a bit about The Sausage King Probably of Chicago. Probably The Sausage King. I love a sausage. Yeah, I, well. That's fine. Uh, Totsuka Blade. And to think, I used to view Dave as an underdog in these matches. Look at him go. He'll be two-time champion before we know it. I and mean, I only put that in because obviously, Two -time champion. obviously he lost the last one. So yeah. he'll be he'll be one time champion. And I wouldn't have been an underdog if I'd won the last one. Or I should have won the last one. Don't get me started on the last one. Well, you shouldn't have won the last one. You were terrible. Oh, but I beat you twice on that game. I had to that guy pointed it out. He was right. What? That I actually I we, we won, I played that we played that whole game once and then what you game? threw a tantrum and then uh, what was it? Trials. 
Ah, oh, that one. Seven-ish. You won on trials. Yeah, I know, but twice in a row because right? you got annoyed. Yeah, I had to edit together the last episode to cut out your tantrum. So don't don't, don't, don't bring me having don't, to play trials twice. Don't know what you're about. It's all good natured fun, everyone. It's all good natured <laughs> fun. Ah, uh, finally, we're ending on a bit of a sad note for comments oh, of the week this week. Okay. Uh, J Dempo Gaming right. says, guys. Has anyone noticed that Rob hasn't made any Dr. Pepper jokes in ages? Hang on. <laughs> With a sad, smiley face. That's a good point. He, he hasn't. That's true, yeah. What does that mean? His, his sponsorship means, deal's over? It means they've stopped putting it in the fridge upstairs. Yes. <laughs> that's, <laughs> what, that's what it his, means. His, his supply's been cut off. And I think he could make jokes about other soft drinks, but they're not as distinctive as Dr. Pepper, are they? He could buy his own Dr. Pepper. <laughs> yeah, but. he could do, yeah. That would mean leaving the bed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do you know what this shiny blue cowboy hat means, mate. I do, I, and I also know what it means for this video, Ooh. separately. It means you get to, as as loser as from last loser. week, you get to choose do this week's game. If I keep losing, do I get to just choose what game I want again? Because this is getting, you know what I mean, two down. Well, I don't know, we'll work it out. We are playing Indie Platformer N++. N++, which I'm pretty sure I'm right in saying that me and Dave are terrible at. Yeah. You could say you could put that before every one of these one words. That is true. Yeah, let's go on with it. This is gonna be one on one. What happened there, Dave? The, uh, we just did one on one, Zine. Yeah. And the audio didn't record. You didn't press the right button. Something went wrong with Who your computer. Who didn't press the right button? It wasn't me. Well, it wasn't me. Well, it you, was Rob. <laughs> you, you did win, but we're going to have to do it all over again. So right. this is N. It's like a stickman platformer uh, where you basically race the other person to the end and you get some points. Yeah. Uh, and you can also pick up little yellow things which extend your score as well. So we just did B, which we'd never done before. Now we're going to do C. Yeah. You ready? It was really great. Just so you know, if this one on one's he's not it that went, good. It went down to the it last one. It was fantastic. And Dave, and Dave won. And now his mind's gone. Maybe we'll put in some uh, of just a video of me winning. Oh, for God's sake. I don't understand how I was supposed to... <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is... We've made no, this we, tough, this man. This is bad. <laughs> <laughs> right. Here we go. No! I, I didn't commit. <gasps> what? They just go it. Some of them just, come on. That's good. Oh my God. I don't know what, you won that game and you didn't take the chance. I was trying chance. to get the, the You blocks. don't need the blocks. I don't need the blocks. Right, now where are we going? Okay. Oh my, okay. Oh, oh the lasers. Lasers at the last second. That is perfectly judged. Lasers again. Oh, <laughs> what? Damn. Those lasers, man. Oh, that's a good Okay, start, here we go. Dave. Go, 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 go. Get in there. Rocket time. That rocket's so hard to control. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> this game is so hard. This is justice, though, isn't it? There are no second chances in this goddamn game. Are you having a second chance right now? It's so hard. Oh, this one looks easy. Sure. It obviously won't be. Like, that's going to be a switch, isn't it, of some kind that turns on the death ray. Maybe it's the, just the door. Can I turn it? Oh, I thought I could close this switch. I what? <laughs> <laughs> Why am I dead? <laughs> what? Because I'm hitting the ceiling too hard. What the hell is it? Because <laughs> I'm too good. <laughs> This is you are really good at that. Stupid. I was like, this is my oh. time. I'm actually good at this bit. I'm hoping that this turns on something that hurts you. Oh, it's oh, not really. the, oh. oh, it's lasers. Yeah, obviously it's lavers, la lasers. Lavers. Everybody needs good lavers. Oh, no. <laughs> Damn. I've turned them all on for you. And uh, and that's, that's just helped. Oh, oh. Oh my god! Did you see what happened? No, I didn't see what happened. <laughs> it's brilliantly designed. <laughs> and it absolutely messed me up. Oh! Is that yeah. little... Is that... <laughs> that ah! little... Ah! 
Have you ever been as angry <laughs> playing one on one seat? <laughs> oh, I've gone red. Look at my score! <laughs> look, look at that little. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is whoa, hard. We should have done the, uh, the first one. Oh dear. <clears throat> what things awake us in this game? Oh, you've unlocked loads of homing stuff and you've set all the mines off. <laughs> Are you dead? No, what? You <laughs> <laughs> Getting the onesie. What is that? That was awful. They've got the skills to know when it's time to watch our next video. They're the ones we love. 301 Club. Better than the comments above. 301. Well, that was an utter disaster. What a drubbing. <laughs> Dude, that was so weird because the obviously I thought I'd got a reprieve there because your recording had gone wrong. Yeah. And I was not trying to balance it up, let me tell you. I was trying to win. Yeah. And I had that opportunity in that first round there. I should have just taken it. That set you on the path, really. I, I, I don't want to, you know, go on about it. I lost by so many that I just thought I'm never going to get this back. I don't want to bang on about it, but the first playthrough that we, that we have no so sound good. for yeah. was really good. I, I want we, it right at the end. We were like, the last level was really hard. I think those levels that we got onto then, they were way, like, they were so much harder than I was capable of doing. But the the on B where we did it the first run through the last it was we were within a point and you've seen how yeah. many points you get given per level. I brought it back to within one point. So it was basically whoever finished first was going to win, and it was really hard. It was really good fun. So I'm sorry you didn't get to see it, but <laughs> yeah. they but they've ruined it. Uh, and then I just went mad and I've just screamed and shouted and lost you it. Yeah, so, yeah, quite a lot. I so my march continues. Now. Three is that a record now for one Three. on one? No, I I won four in a row once, but well, but <laughs> you know. 301 Club then. Let's do it. Okay. Uh, Proutoxy says, I'd like to thank my dog for knocking my phone off the table, making me pick it up and seeing my notification to see a new video was up and allowing me to finally join the 301 Club. And I'm very pleased for you. That is quite the training. That is quite the, the, the dog. There. Yeah, I know, right? Because uh, I'm sure he did that on purpose. Daniel Hergenroser says, 301 birthday king boy man here saying, thanks again for making it worth getting out of bed on Mondays or at least rolling over to turn on my PlayStation. Woo, hashtag Team Dan, which is a bit of a blast from the past. Yeah. Uh, hashtag Team Dan, you, you haven't won either. Um, unless he's talking about himself, obviously, because he's called Daniel. Oh, yeah, that would make sense. Uh, HNR Rocks says, 301 Club, there is a first time for everything. Like getting to bed before two o'clock in the morning, probably not going to happen because who would want to sleep when you can watch Nathan Dave rage over a video game, desperately trying to save what little dignity they have left by escaping the clutches of the dreaded onesie. And here I am. Access granted always makes my day, night, morning, depending on how you look at it. It's late and my brain has stopped using logic at this point. Love what you do, keep it up. Love your hopefully to be sleep deprived queen. Uh, so yeah, you can win that because you were nice to us about three different times. Yeah. Lots of people are so desperate to get into the 301 Club, they don't say anything. And that just means, I mean, you've made it. But the 301 Club, just to reiterate, the people who get there when the view count is below 301, and then you can be the king of 301 Club if you say something interesting. If you say, ooh, I can't say anything interesting, then you're not going to win. <laughs> not Mate. that time. No, not this so, time. so thank you very much, HNR Rocks. You are queen, 301 queen. Yeah. This week. Congratulations. Thank you, Dave. <laughs> well, no, I'm glad to have been here. Oh man, I'm so annoyed about M plus <laughs> plus. N stands for Nate. Oh, and I was not plus plus. I was minus minus. Yeah. N minus maybe minus. minus. Do I get to choose a game? Can I have like a wild card? I don't know, maybe. Can we play Put it in the in the comments. Does Nate get to choose the next Show game? Show me some sympathy, guys. Coming up next week. Coming up this week. Yeah. Uh, so me and Holly went to see GT Sport last week, and we've been uh, wrangling. We're trying to get some footage, some lovely footage to put on the video. So we've made like a breakdown of everything you guys need to know. Uh, so as soon as we get some like some good gameplay to go with it, there's stuff on the live stream which you can see if you go over to the PlayStation Europe channel right now if you just want to look at what the game looks like. There's more stuff coming from the studio, and once we've got that, we'll be putting that video live for you guys as soon as I we need, can. I need that video, Nate. I was on holiday during the, the live stream, I know, and so really I don't know anything it, about GT really Sport. Enjoyed it. I yeah. don't know anything about uh, it. We're there to show you. It's, so got, it's going to be called Everything You Need to Know. I need Dave. to know everything. Okay, yeah. fine. Yeah, Dave. <laughs> uh, we're going to the Champions League final this week, almost certainly. Yeah. Got, so there's like a little PlayStation event there too, so we're going to be checking out some games uh, and putting up some videos of that. Um, we'll hope we get to see all of us just sort of hanging around a little bit before the game 
uh, we're going to do a, one of them vlogs. We're going to try a vlog, aren't we? Yeah, so I mean, if, that, if, if it just goes on fire with dislikes, then it'll be the only one we've ever done. So definitely check it out. We just could show people the ceiling of the Champions League. Yeah, we could show it's, it the ceiling of every room. the sky room we've above been the match. In. Yeah. God's ceiling. Yeah. Uh, and that's pretty much it for this week. I think Rob's going to have a Friday feature, which he's um, working on very hard now. Well, he's working on it anyway. Yeah. Uh, and uh, yeah, there'll be, there'll be, if there's anything else that comes up, we that's might play stick bowls. Stay tuned to the channel. Yeah. Let me know if you think I should be able to choose what game I want to play next week on One Onesie. Bye, everyone. No chance. Bye. No chance. No chance. No.